Hello, my name is Martin. Well, Strat Chat. And we're going to be carrying on with our run in India. Uh, finished yesterday when our father uh, passed away very, very, uh, very suddenly, but after quite a long, successful reign. And uh, we've got this chap here um, taking over here, Maharaja uh, Varakanu Varam, uh, Var Varman. Um, first thing I want to do is, is just have a look at his stats. He's not an amazing leader by any stretch of the imagination. Um, prowess is great, but not really important because he's not going to be doing any fighting if I can avoid it. Uh, very good stewardship, and um, but everything, all, everything else is pretty mediocre. Again, Marshall is his best, almost his second best uh, trait. Uh, we're not going to be leading any wars. We're going to be using uh, commanders for that. Learning is okay, average. I mean, that's that's quite good because that's going to matter. Having a quick look at his primary uh, wife, um, she's got very, very poor uh, stats. I don't want to divorce her, although in this culture it's very easy. It only costs me 100 faith because there is a simple and better alternative. I can simply uh, select, uh, make, make uh, one of my secondary spouses my, um, my, my main one. Uh, this spouse would be much better. But I'm not keen for her to be my primary spouse either because her uh, stewardship is so low. So what I'm going to do, very straightforward really, is I am going to, oh hang on a sec, I think this is, right, okay. So this young lady uh, would be um, perfectly adequate as a wife and has lots of useful claims, but one of them is the kingdom of Lambacana, which I believe is Sri Lanka. You can see her little picture down there. So I need to decline this because I am going to be going to war with um, that kingdom. So back to back to my wife. So I need a secondary a secondary spouse. We're going to be looking at uh, some of all skills. Uh, this lady looks really good, but the uh, the problem is that her best is intrigue, and I am going to struggle with intrigue because I'm just I'm going to be stressed every time I try to murder somebody. Ridiculous, I know. But um, so so I think she's going to have limited utility to me. What I ideally want is somebody who's got you know, reasonably good stewardship, but then probably my stewardship's kind of good enough, really. So um, we've got this lady here, uh, Chandramata Vijaya. Um, she's got a good overall set of skills. I quite like that. And then you've got um, Bhagavati here, 45 years old, maybe a little bit uh, too elderly to be um, having children, but I've already established my succession. I've got three sons, two daughters, so let's, I'm quite tempted to, to go with this, this lady. Let's just have a closer look at her. Yeah, I really like that her learning is good because that's a relative weakness of mine and it might be that I can use her to, to boost up the, um, uh, uh, kind of uh, way up the, the, the technology tree. So let's marry this lady. Right, so have a look at the council. Okay, so um, obviously we've got a great spy master. We're, we're happy with her. By the way, it is just so much better to have what well, we'll see in a moment. Um, the marshal, you know, very happy with him. Steward, uh, we've got uh, Pranyata, who was my dad's late, uh, last wife um, after he was uh, widowed. I think she'd be absolutely fine. I think maybe we'll, uh, she'd, she'd obviously like us more once we once we put her in. It's also worth saying that, um, yeah, she likes us a little bit more now. She's on the council, but we can work on that in time. But the other thing is, you know, she's my, the best steward available, and she's a woman. If my culture, religion was different, or if I had the, the religion I had, uh, my father was born with, then I wouldn't be able to hire her as my steward. And it's the same here with the chancellor, my sister-in-law, who absolutely despises me, but I think we're going to be able to work on that. First thing, she's six, minus 62 now. Put her on because she's a powerful vassal. That's for 40 um, improvements straight off. Um, she desires the Tikana of Venadu. Venadu is down here. So she is probably... Yeah, she has that duchy title. So if I give her Venadu, I'll go down to 8... No, it's not my it's not my title, right? I've got this. Okay, so there should be an option up here. Transfer, right? So it transfers this vassal to her, and frankly, 
she's going to love me. Oh well, she, she's a lot keener. We can certainly say say that. Um, do you know she's not she's not keen on me having three uh, duchy titles either. Uh, too many duchies, all my vassals will have that one, and I've got three, I don't want three. So so I want to keep uh, Panjanadu, because that's one I've invested, my father invested everything into, Cholanadu, but Tondainadu, um, we can give away. Now what we want to do is choose who we give it to. So do I own any of the counties? Because if I own the county, I can, right, okay, so I do own a county here. Okay, so what am I going to do? Um, Right, thinking about succession, my son is stupid. He's an absolute dimwit. He's a very poor quality at martial education. Is there an alternative? Right, his next brother down is 26 years old. He's his twin, but he's not stupid. He's got a much better uh, education trait. Um, he's calm, he's patient, and arrogant. I mean, they're all relatively good traits. Um, his stats are, are better than his brother's. I think this is the guy that I want to be my heir. So I think what I do, while he's not my heir, so let's give him grant title, Mulovergil, and then I can give him the duchy title. Excellent. And then when the time comes, I, I mean, can I disinherit? Is it worth disinheriting his brother now? Is my player heir? Um, I, do you know, I don't know what Denounce does. Yeah, I don't know. Um, how, how expensive is it? I can't at the moment afford to do it, but it's only 300 prestige and 150 uh, fame. So I think that's something that I'm going to have to do. For the time being, he is our heir. And if he is our heir... We need to make sure that we got we got the votes for him. Okay, right. I still have the Holy Order. Okay, so that's good. But I don't think that I'm hostile with most of the religions in India. I think it's really when I get outside India that that might be of more use. See, this is a rich source now of very very good um, counselors, um, but for the moment. I think we just just find him someone you know, like okay females right can this person here this is my stepmother can this attract somebody right let's let's see if she can attract a, a good chauvier yeah that's a good chauvier okay but she's attracting very very good suitors um Yep, yeah, I mean, he's great. Uh, okay. Right, just having a quick look at the lifestyle uh, choice. So we've gone up this one. Some of these would be very useful to us. Extorting subjects, uh, vassal tax contribution, and isn't there another one? Uh, Republican tax contribution, as well as, of course, the, the top trait there. And we've got tax man. I think we'll just go with that. We'll work our way up some of these before we perhaps change into the learning, learning focus. Okay, one of the things that I want to do is I want to create a new Hindu faith. It's going to be very expensive, um, but I don't use really very many of these. I certainly don't rate them especially high. Uh, so I think I'm going to go on a little bit of a shopping trip if I can save up the faith and get something a bit better. I also have been thinking it might be quite nice to go with um, the temporal head of faith. I'll need to um, uh, select, um, yes, I can't, I've got theocratic clerical tradition, I need to change that as well. But I think it would be really interesting, the head of faith is given to the founder of the faith, which would be me in this, in this instance, um, and pass on to their primary heir. Um, holy wars um, can be directed by me, etc. I think that would be really, really good. I'd also view on gender. I think there is somewhere, isn't there a thing somewhere about women being able to be? 
I'm not sure where it is. I'd have to do some sort of like sort of research on it. But I think there is somewhere there is a way of allowing women to be uh, commanders and shawvias, and I think that that would be really, really um, impactful and good. Right, we need we are going to need some some prestige, so we're going to go on a on one of those. So I do actually have a better one here, and she likes me more. Let's fire and put Jujita in. Obviously, sway her. Much higher chance of swaying her. Um, I don't think I'd start to sway the other guy, but I should have done. Right. Have I got a better? She's excellent. No. She can do both jobs, I assume. I think so. Right, court tutor. Let's get her in. Get the children educated. Who's my prisoner? So, he has three claims. So in order to do this, I would need to be exalted among men, but I think it's a waste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only seven counties there. There's only three duchies. So three individual wars, potentially, and I could have Sri Lanka over the next 15 years or so. This would be a much, much better um, war of that kind. Uh, obviously, I need to build up my um, um, level of fame somewhat, but one and a half thousand prestige, um, and obviously she's stronger than us at the moment, but she's only stronger because of allies, and it might be that in time we can do something about, about that. Here we go for, for that one. Over here, loads we can do. Let's get the fourth one. Um, construct that and then if we look at uh, Panjanadu this is pretty much built out to full this we can continue to improve and over here we can continue to upgrade these as well okay so a lot of money spent let's hit play just looking at my sure veers here. I've only got seven of eight. I could do with an additional one. That surprises me. Okay. So my worst sure veer. Do you know what? Forbid him, force him. That's the way to do it, isn't it? Because that's the way I want it to go. Um, I'm going to save some money. Okay, and we are going to do that, 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 okay, almost, almost got us where we want to be. Right, so I'm going to do the whole succession thing. So this guy here is going to be disinherited, right, he's not going to do that. Okay, so I disinherit him. My new primary heir is this guy who's much, much stronger. Uh, I need to go to the elections. Uh, I need to make him. And that's in Panjanadu. And this one is in Cholanadu. Right. I'm in great shape. I'm in great shape as far as my succession is concerned now. Um, I'm going to go on a pilgrimage because I want to save up tons and tons of faith. 450 sounds good to me because I am going to attack my brother. All of this and his, his army is very, very small. His ally is weak. This is the time to do it. Unfortunately, I can't because I made that mistake of uh, spending all my money on a, a non-urgent pilgrimage. We've got a 27 commander. I should have checked what kind of commanders he has available, but I can't believe it's going to be that bad.
Okay. So I'm only getting the one county, but that's that's how it is. Right. I'm going to give her another task now. Um, I want to spread my sort of state religion a little bit more, and then she's going to be concentrating on fabricating claims in uh, sh in Sri Lanka, really, for the rest of uh, rest of my life. So my brother, the fool, still in charge of those of those regions, but reincorporated back into my into my realm. So our next war would probably be down here. Should be able to win. So she's got no allies. She's got seven hundred. No, she's got a lot more than that. She's actually got quite a lot of men at arms. Um, but I think we'll be absolutely fine. Okay. Let's just check we're up to full strength. So we've got to wait till the end of November. End of November. Oh, wait for those other armoured footmen. Do you know, even better, let's get this up to full strength. And we'll wait for that. Wow, well, we got smallpox. Which wife is she? I think we've got to be, we've got to be evil here. We can't send her away because she's my spouse. Can divorce her, and we can. S I still can't get rid of her. Right, we can marry her to somebody. So we don't want matrilineal. Let's reset defaults. Right, so we've married her off. Got her out of my court. A thousand pikes and a hundred light footmen. In comparison, I'm stronger, and I've got loads more levies. These are very good in jungle. Is there jungle in Sri Lanka? That's forest. Okay, so I've, there's nowhere that I my my elephants would be a particularly good. The worry is, I mean, the elephants don't like hills. I think. Uh, no, they're all right. They're all right in, in ordinary hills. It's only mountains. Mountains when, uh, and, yeah, okay. Right, we should be all right. Okay, we've won. Okay. Right, well, we're taking a little bit of time to continue to build up. We've got lots of things that need buying. That's up to strength. That's not quite... These are, these are nowhere near. We can beat her easily because the Maharaja Bhuvikrama of Rata is also allied with me. Full strength, wait, full strength with them. Let's just do it. Might even, can I win when this goes? Yeah. So the thing that's really holding me up is prestige, because these are very, very expensive wars in terms of, of prestige. So I just held court and was able to get a lot of prestige through it. Very often when you hold court, it's literally disastrous. So I'm quite pleased about that. Right, how is... Right, we're nearly here with converting faith, which is good. We're actually doing quite well. We're building up faith, considering we're not really focusing on it. I mean, all we're going to be attacking... It's that one little... Let's just do it. Okay. Literally just raking money in from these uh, these prisoners. Okay, so we can... I mean, we are actually... do have eligible wars. Um, I think this guy is just too strong. But we could do this person. The thing is, we just have to keep fighting wars, winning them, getting prestige and working towards exalted among men. And then I've got a chance of doing a big war against these guys. So what other wars can we do? 
Oh, I might as well take that. It's great that it's already under siege because we'll just take over the siege after we defeat these raiders. Okay, that won the war. So, basically, what I've done is um, I've all of those um, rebellious uh, uh, vassals that didn't like me very much, they've all lost their titles, every single one of them. And what I'm going to be doing now, and it's going to take me quite a while really, is just to sit down and carefully decide who I want to be the duchy of each duchy that's available. I've actually got uh, five at the moment, so I've got three to give away. Um, I've got some contracts I can change and modify. Um, and of course, all of those counties, I've got eight counties that I, I can also um, give away. Uh, when I've done that, I'm going to have a very stable um, empire for, well, not an, technically not an empire, but I keep getting really stressed and I suspect that I'm going to die in my kind of early 60s, about sort of three or four years away from now. The only thing that I'm kind of hoping to do before I die is to get manorialism, which is only 14 months away, and to build uh, this, uh, the uh, Bridiswara temple. So that's what I want to be able to achieve. Um, and, and all the time I'm working my way towards Exalted Among Men so I can attack this kingdom in one go, or possibly that one over there. But that one over there is a lot stronger. This this leader is not going to be alive to form the empire. Okay, his son, who's himself already uh, forty nearly, is the one that's going to form this empire. And the and, and you know, dad is going to build the temple. He's going to reorganize the vassal structure of the whole realm. He's going to carry on taking places because I think I've got two truce. Uh, no, I've, I think, yep, yeah, I've. I can. There's a couple of wars that I can. There's a couple of wars that I can declare. Um, and ultimately, I'm wait. I, every small war, even just one county, I'm fighting that war because it's helping me to get prestige. I'm obviously, uh, you know, totally totally hitting the, the grand festivals and the hunts when, I've, uh, when I can, to build up to Exalted Among Men, and then I can do this massive war. But this is almost certainly going to take place in my next... The problem, if it takes place in my next lifetime, he won't have the prestige... He won't, he won't have the fame, level of fame, will he? OK, OK. So, the plan is this, OK? to take odd, odd places here and there to slowly expand the, 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 the realm without... And, and, and do you know what? If kingdoms are formed by confederate partition, that's fine because they get taken over by brothers and sisters of the primary heir and they are weak as anything and you've got pressed claims on them, which means that very, very easily you can sweep in around those those kingdoms uh, back up. The truth is that I'm out of time, unfortunately, for this playthrough. And I'm going to have to stop here because we'll be starting um, a, new, a new playthrough uh, next week on Monday. I really wish I could play this further, but to be honest, in the time that I kind of got available, it's very, very difficult to be able to illustrate to everybody um, the full uh, potential of what, uh, of what you could achieve. Ultimately, uh, you know, Chakrabarti, is it Chakrabarti? Chakrabarti would be the way that I would like to go. Um, and if I get a chance to come back to this in my own personal playing, um, I, that's what I would be aiming to, to, to form. It's so much slower to take land when you are playing as a feudal leader, but there are still ways of taking huge, huge chunks. Uh, and I think that the formation of this Deccan Empire is actually now sort of within our grasp. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please put some comments. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what I could have done uh, done better. And, uh, and if you can like and subscribe as well, that would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.